Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trick Theology, where we teach how to avoid religious deception. Imagine this. In the book of Genesis, the brothers of Joseph had a huge encounter with him, in which they were forced to leave one of their brothers behind. They went home in tears. They shared a conversation with their own brother, and yet they could not identify him as one of their own. The prophet Moses, he grew up pretending to be an Egyptian royal. He spent all his life in the royal family. He lived under the nose of the pharaohs, and they could not tell the difference between Moses and their own children. Baby Yeshua was also rushed to Egypt because he needed to escape a king who wanted to kill him in the land of Israel. And we know he could only hide among his kind. There is ample evidence in the Holy Scriptures to prove that the destiny as well as the identity of the Egyptians and the Israelites were tied. The identity of one validated the identity of the other. Using the religion of Judaism, the Europeans are attempting to claim the land of Israel, the history of Israel, and the identity of the Israelites. Using the religion of Islam, the Arabs are attempting to claim the history, the land, and the identity of the Mizraim or the Egyptians. Today I intend to supply evidence that is so strong that none of the two will be able to dispute. Come with me as we explore together the history of our world. The evidence is embedded in this story on the website of the BBC World Service. The story was published in 2019, April, when I was writing my books. Follow the name to Wisdom, Truth and Secrets and Dry Bones Crawling Home. You will find references to this particular material in my two books which are available on Amazon today. Please ignore the heading because this story is not about mummified mice at all. It's about a man and his wife. Let us highlight and read together the second paragraph in this story. Experts say the tomb is more than 2,000 years old and is thought to be the resting place of a senior official called Tutu, T-U-T-U, and his wife. Tutu, T-U-T-U. Now we have a name. So now let's go tracking the name Tutu in the real world. If you want to know how to track names from the scriptures into the real world, please subscribe and use the follow the name playlist. You will find a video for that purpose. But this video is about this man and his wife. This name Tutu can only be the name of an African. How do we know that? We took the name and we scanned African cultures and we discovered two places only. One is South Africa. If you go there, you will find a man called Desmond Tutu. His family will be ancient Egyptians. Then the other one is West Africa. In West Africa, Ghana to be specific, there is a whole region that is full of this name. You will find hundreds of thousands or perhaps a million persons who go by the name Tutu. There are whole families in which everybody gets the name Tutu for male or tutua for females. 
This is the evidence telling you that the Egyptians are still alive and well. They live here in West Africa. The first Ashanti king spent a long time in that region. It was from that region that he came into contact with Okonfuanochi, the priest of Ayan, who provided the power, the divine power that established the Ashanti kingdom. Subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also follow us on all other social networks. We are Trick Theology. Thank you.